the RJS News Show. I'm Cole Dawkins. And I'm Hardy Rafael. Leon Franca has today's weather. At this time, please care for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's weather anchor Leon Franco with today's forecast. Today's weather is sunny with a high of 62. This weekend looks similar with a high of 62 on Saturday and 65 on Sunday. Gatorama is on April 26 from 4 to 8 p.m. at RGS. Wristbands are available from now until April 5th to purchase at a pre-sale rate of $30 each. These bands offer unlimited access to rides and attractions, excluding food trucks. Tickets will be available for purchase on April 1 until April 12, at a rate of 24 25 tickets. After the pre-sale ends, tickets and bands will be available to purchase on the day of the event. However, the rates for the bands will be $40 and will only be sold in the first hour. Don't forget, you do not come to school on Monday. Monday, April 8th, will be an e-learning day for all Greenville County students due to the solar eclipse. Check out the RGS booths tomorrow at the Imagine Steam Festival in downtown Greenville. The festival runs from 11 to 5 p.m. The RGS booth is located near Pomegranate. You Unified Gator Games will take place on April 12th and uh, a spring mar market will be held on April 13th. Don't forget that Spirit Week begins next week on Tuesday. We are raising money for the scholarship program for the YMCA. Today's lunch menu includes chicken wing bar, salad bar, and fresh fruit. Baseball and both so soccer teams played Beck Academy last night. Our sports anchor, Payne Allman, has an update on how they did. RGS played Beck Academy. Beck girls soccer won 2-0 over RGS girls. Beck baseball won 10-3 over RGS. And RGS boys soccer won over Beck Academy 4-1. Winston Churchill, who led Great Britain in an alliance with the United States and Soviet Union that defeated Axis powers in the World War II, resigned on this day as Prime Minister. Historians were of the attribute of Churchill being the greatest statesman of the 20th century. He was succeeded in office by Anthony Eden, the foreign secretary and fall official pro TJ, right along the south to replace him. Thanks for watching and have a great day.